Um, but we put this up online and so many of you have got in touch. Don't forget them. I want to know <laughs> your story. Mine. Because oh, I know you've got one. I know. Well, my daughter came home. It was a really nice thing of her teacher to do. She came home with a laminated list of the things that I needed to remember for her to bring on bring into school on what day. Lovely, handy. Um, and at the time, I was um, I was really busy and Matt was away and I had a lot of things to kind of remember from a school point of view. So I was forgetting all the time. So the teacher sent home a laminated list to help me. But of course, I got a little bit defensive and I was like, your teachers think I'm stupid. And then she went into school the next day and said, thank you for that list, but my mummy thinks that you think she's stupid. <laughs> I mean, I've never. Mm -hmm. And then the teacher came up to me and she was like, Mrs. Willis, we were just trying to help. And oh, I was like, no, the no, shame. No, no, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it like that. I was, Isabel, I was Isabel, cooking, what I was have running you been a saying? <laughs> Give us a phone, man. so bad. I deserve that. All that we're doing is helping. Just trying to help you. Just I know. trying to help you. Um, anyway, uh, Diane Shepherd sent this one in. My daughter had to use the word absolute in a sentence as part of her homework. <laughs> so she wrote, My mum loves absolute vodka. <laughs> A lot of these are to do with alcohol. To be I fair. think there's going to be a theme. Uh, Linda Jackson says, in an assembly about kindness, my six-year-old was desperate to tell everyone what the definition of kindness was to her. Uh, her definition was getting my mummy a glass of wine from the kitchen. <laughs> Embarrassing, really. say lots of that alcohol. Is kind, this though. one's slightly different. Amy Yenrod said, my, my six year old daughter took 50 shades of grey in for story time. I didn't even see her put it in a bag and was mortified <laughs> when the teacher handed it back to me with a huge grin on her face at home time. Yeah, that teacher's read it. I imagine, that, yeah, that's you know, she's like, home, oh, not we've, in class. You've got good taste. Um, and <laughs> and Anne Knox. <laughs> Uh, my daughter was practising her spellings and the words she had to use was always. I was mortified on parents' evening <gasps> when I read she had written, my mum uses always ultra. <laughs> I mean, Please keep sending these in. Because if ever I feel a bit low, I'll just read these out. I know. To myself it in the kitchen. It kind of is feel good. And it makes me feel slightly better. It's not just me that's happening. You're not that bad. It's lots of people. 